Hello lovely people, welcome to the Geek Cupboard, I am Penge, and welcome back to Going Medieval, where last time out we welcomed our first newcomer to the settlement, and here he is, this is Baldred. Everyone say hi to Baldred, hi Baldred, and he's settling in quite nicely as Baldred. Now when he arrived, he was a little bit injured, because he'd been held in captivity by some bad guys, and they had not treated him very nicely at all, and I think he had a dislocated shoulder, didn't he? It was his shoulder that was the problem, so he was a little bit wounded when he arrived, so we sent him to bed, he convalesced a little bit, we sent Cuppa over to see if Cuppa could help out with some good old ye olde medieval treatments. I'm not entirely sure what Cuppa tried. Leeches, probably leeches were quite big around this point in history. Loads of leeches all over Baldred, and eventually Baldred healed up. His shoulder popped back into place, and he was able to just, you know, join in and become a valued member of the community, which is very wonderful. So yes, it's nice to have Baldred here. Welcome to Geek Hampton, Baldred. Also last time, we did survive our first raid, which is kind of linked to Baldred's arrival, because yes, the raid was from a group of nasty sounding bad guys who wanted to recapture Baldred because yes they came back for him Baldred had escaped and the guys who had actually captured him came back they wanted him back and we did get the choice we did get the choice of giving him back but that didn't really seem the right thing to do so it was all fine the first raid was sort of okay there was a bit of a fight over here our bows were very very effective they did quite a good chunk of damage and then two of the bad guys were killed and the one surviving bad guy quite sensibly ran away he knew the game was up and he just legged it he kind of legged it through the forest and out across the map over there somewhere which is fair enough i think you know i think it was fairly obvious that he was going to get killed if he didn't run away so there we go we had our first raid and we survived it which is wonderful we've also improved things around the base as well we have our nice storehouse over here and we've got our little research shack over here and it's over here where i think we need to turn our attention now because we need to get more of these chronicle things produced we need more of these so we can get more research done and then we can start expanding our sort of base out a little bit and adding more exciting bits and bobs as we go and it looks like bernard is already on this Bernard is making chronicles. He's writing chronicles as we speak now that I've unpaused the game. Oh, look, hang on. That's that's quite tempting, isn't it? Hang on. Who can hunt? Can anybody hunt? Can we have this, please? Let's get some food. That would be nice. Let's get this. Um, Baldred is not one for hunting right now, I don't think. They'll get there. They'll get there. They'll sort this out eventually. I mean, normally, it's RJ, isn't it? RJ is our kind of resident hunter. This thing is getting quite far away, however. I'm sure it'll be fine. But yeah, how many of these did we tell um did we tell everybody to make? How many chronicles? So we ordered we ordered five, didn't we? Yeah, to get up to 30 chronicles. So I think, is that it now? Are we up to 30 chronicles? So are you moving that final chronicle? Yeah, you're hauling that to the stockpile. So let's go into here. There we go. So we now have 30 chronicles and it tells us here that our research has now you know, it's opened up a bit there's more research available so i think i think oh okay it looks like we have to go down the route of agriculture why can't we go down here oh it needs more it needs more so if we want to get things like kilns to make bricks we need more chronicles okay i mean right now agriculture seems like the very sensible option that seems like the best thing for us to do because then we can grow things like cabbages and carrots and beets and barley and all sorts of exciting things so yes let's do this let's unlock the secrets of agriculture okay that's very good now i think the next big thing is going to be preserving food because as we have seen our food has gone a little bit moldy because it's just sitting there it's just sitting on the floor. So, you know, it does have a, a bit of a, a finite lifespan, I think, as well. Yeah, some of our food is over here in big piles of horrible sort of rotting grot over there. So, yeah, they are sort of... We're losing, losing out on food a little bit, which is a bit of a shame. So maybe, maybe if we could get another, another 20 Chronicles, we could learn how to... Yeah, we can smoke our meat and then it can be stored for several months. Okay, that seems like a good thing to do. So how about over here we make ourselves another do you want to make another 20 of those do you want to do this in in kind of an amount so go through and say right okay what are we researching next we're researching preserving food we need another 20 or do you want to say just do until we have a hundred and then someone will come over and then they'll just you know, work until there's 100 chronicles i think that might be our best option um oh hold down control there we go lovely that makes life a bit easier let's go up to a hundred so there we go. Just just do this until we have 100 Chronicles. I mean, that's going to take quite a long time. That's going to take quite a long time. And I think this uses sort of intellect, doesn't it? It uses the... Is it just intelligence? Hang on, where is it? Um, intellectual. And we're not very good at that. 
We're not very good at that. I mean, the next person that joins, if they could be really, really brainy, that would be wonderful. That would be very good. But uh, but yes, there we go. So we've got that underway. Uh, it says research is available. Are you sure? Hang on, can we clear that? Should that go away? Maybe it's because we've not sort of uh, moved time on. Yeah, there we go. So now we should have loads of farming things available to us. And I'm thinking over here looks good. This looks like a nice big open space for a bit of farming going on. So let's have a little look. Where would that be? It's not going to be in there because that's base. That's production. That's furniture. It's not going to be leisure. Is it misc? It's not misc. It's not warfare. Zones. Ah, cabbage fields. Okay. A crop to sow all year round. The humblest of warts and a staple food. Hang on. Why can we only make cabbages? Hang on. That promised That promised all sorts of things. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hang on. What's going on there? Cabbages, carrots, beets, barley, flax, red currants, tall grass, herbs, and trees. Where, where's all the other stuff? I want all the other exciting things. Ah, no, it's here, isn't it? It's here. That's where it is. Okay. So how about we get ourselves a little farm set up over here? And I think, where is it? There's fences somewhere. Is it in Misk? Yes. We can have a little kind of, a little fenced off farming area, which sounds wonderful. Yeah. Okay. Let's have some of this. So cabbages seem like a good thing to have. So how about out the back here, we just have a row. In fact, no, maybe not there. Not there, because then we can have the fence kind of going out here. Okay, hang on. We need somewhere to store all this stuff. Do we want to try and expand the food building? Do we want to try and expand this? The only thing is, I don't know how it works with the roof. Do we need to take the roof off? Oh, hang on. Wait there, farm. Very important thing to deal with. And um, yes, we have this mysterious bit of wood that's sitting on the top of this wall that, um, that yeah, is stopping the roof being constructed on our main sort of storehouse type thing. So at the moment, the rain is getting in. So all the stuff in here is probably deteriorating a tiny bit because it's raining and that's not very good. So we want to try and sort that out. We'd like the roof to be complete, please. Um, so my initial plan was to put some steps, just build some steps, up we go, and then they can grab the stuff and then bring it down. Uh, but a lot of people have said in the comments, just take out the wall. Just take out the wall section. So if we go to there and just say, okay, deconstruct that wall, please, then eventually that wall goes. That stuff up there will, I mean, okay, I say will, it should fall down. If it floats up there, then weird things are afoot in Geek Hampton, but it should fall down. So it should tumble to the ground and then we can just build the wall back again and everything will be fine. They can get the roof sorted and everyone's a winner. It's so lovely. Right, okay, that's that done. Okay, back over here, back over here because we do need a proper place to store things. We need a great big place to store all the food we're getting from here. And it would make sense to store the food in a sort of a food barn, if you like. So over here, we've got all the wood and the sticks and the straw and some bones, you know, like you do, we keep the bones for fun reasons, for Halloween reasons. Um, so yeah, that's why we keep all that stuff. But then it would make sense for the food to sort of be over here. But I'm not entirely sure how we can do this with that roof on. Because if we build another bit here, if we build another big extension over here, then how are we going to put the thatched roof on? Because it needs two sides to sort of latch onto. Not entirely sure how that's going to work. I don't think it can work because you can't place all four sides of the thatched roof on a bit of wall because this bit here already has thatched roof on it. So we might need to take the roof off of this and then put it back on when we've expanded the building a little bit. But this building does need to be bigger. In fact, is it worth just having this as our sort of our mess hall? I know, but this is where we cook as well. This is where we cook. So the campfire's there. They bring the food into here. Okay, right. Hang on a minute. Hang on. Where do we want to put this then? We need to figure out where we want the farm. I think this, this space here is perfect for farm. Lots of grass. It's all nice and flat. It's very easy to get to. So I think the farm would go well over here. Maybe we'll just have a big storage building over here. Just put one over there. Loads of room over there. So let's get this sorted over here. Let's get this all sorted. So how about we have ourselves uh, go to here, cabbage fields. So yeah, flax is good for, you don't eat flax, I don't think. that uh, You turn that into like rope and stuff. Uh, carrots, all very good. Uh, beets, again, all very useful. And then barley. Yeah, you can turn that into bread, gruel or refreshing ale. I think maybe we're slightly away from that in terms of our tech stuff. Um, herbs, we could have a few of those, um, red currants, and then tall grass. Again, that's going to be useful because we use that for the roofs and such like. Um, how about then? 
We'll have ourselves a row of cabbages. Let's have a row of cabbages. What we might do is, what we might do is over here, have a new, have a new kind of, a new eating area set up over here, connected to the cooking area somewhere over here, maybe. So you can cook over here, perhaps, and then eat over here, maybe. And then we'll repurpose this building for something else, because it is a bit small. It's a bit small as this building. It could do with being a little bit bigger. I mean, it does the job now, but when we have, what, five or six people, that's going to be tiny. So yeah, let's do that. So let's get the farm set up over, over here. So let's have cabbages there. Yes, nice. And then let's have carrots. So a row of carrots. I don't know if you need to leave a gap. Not entirely sure. Um, and then, I mean, let's see, shall we? Which was beets in the middle. I think you're allowed to do that. That looks okay. That looks fine. And then we might want, I don't think we want barley right now, because um, this is like the food field, isn't it? This is the food field. And then let's have, let's have a little bit of a gap there. And then we'll have some berries and then some herbs, because why not? Why wouldn't you want lovely herbs? There we go. That's quite good. And then I think we have a kind of, this is the food field. Then I think we have ourselves a field of sort of, you know, materials. So we can have a field of the tall grass and a field of the flax. I think that might be quite good. So let's have a little field set up over here of, I don't know, six by six. Let's make it a tiny bit bigger. There we go. Seven by seven of grass, which should require very little maintenance because it's grass. You just sort of leave it. That's the point. And then we'll have another one, seven by seven of flax. There we go. And then we want some fences because fences are fun. This equals farms. Right, okay, so have, um, yeah, so a bit coming down like that. So, oh, no, that's, no, 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 no. Oh, hang on. Right, we'll have a bit going across like that. Across is good as well. So to there, we'll have a gap so you can walk in. Is that the middle? Um, hang on, hang on. You, space already occupied. Hang on, no, you, away. There we go. That looks nicer. Right, and then fence, sort of to there and across to there, and then rotate that round, please. There we go, that looks much better. So fit that in and fit that in. Hopefully they're gonna snap into a nice sort of corner shape. Hopefully that's going to become a corner because that looks a bit weird otherwise. And then um, we'll have the same again down here. We'll have sort of sides like that. We will have a gap in the middle of those fields just so people can walk through. And then we'll have a bit going like that to there and like that to there and we'll have a little sort of gate out the back as well okay there we go we have fields and we have fences set up this is very exciting this is very good indeed okay bernard's doing a spot of gathering which is very handy indeed has anybody done this yes the wood has come down okay right let's get this sorted so a wooden wall please regular ordinary wooden wall without a big pile of wood on the top of it that would be good right is bernard going to get on that is bernard on that Bernard is... I don't know what Bernard's doing. Bernard, are you okay? Are you okay? Oh, you're hungry. Okay, were you waiting for some food to be... Uh, for some food to be put together? That's fine. Um, yeah, there is a little bit of food. There's some roasted meat and some of the packaged meals that we started with. So that's pretty good. There's nobody finished working on that. Bernard's happy. His belly is full. He's all very delighted. And now he's going to go and do some clever stuff. Yeah, okay, that's fine. You go and do some clever stuff. Can somebody put the wall in, please? That would be good. You're all walking past it. You're all pretending you haven't seen the wall. RJ over here doing a little bit of uh, a little bit of work out in the fields. Are these ambitious fields? I don't really know. I don't really know. We've not done farming before in this. These might be utterly, impossibly vast fields. I've got no idea. I do not know. We'll find out. I guess we will find out. I mean, the weather isn't going to be helping, is it? And we've created a bedroom, have we? And we finally finished that off. At long last, we've finished this. It took ages, but okay, that's good. And the wall is in. So now we can go to a thatched roof and we can just say, right, complete that bit, please. There we go. That is it. And that will finish that building off. Oh no, hang on. It's not a thatched roof. Away with you, thatched roof. It's not thatched, is it? It's, um, it's sticks, whatever it was. A wicker roof, obviously. There we go. A nice wicker roof on this just here. Is anybody going to get to that soon? No, it doesn't look like it, but never mind. Never mind. They'll get to that at some point soon. And the weather seems quite nice anyway. <gasps> Things are growing. We've got red currant shrubs. We've got berry bushes, everybody. Oh, this is wonderful. Oh, look at this, RJ. 
RJ over here with the botany of 12, just going going crazy for the gardening. So the herbs are going in. That looks like we have ourselves some cabbages growing. Oh, this is wonderful. This is very good. Okay, and yeah, it doesn't seem like these are too impossibly difficult to get sorted. It doesn't seem too tricky. Okay, this is good. This is encouraging news. Um, RJ's having a bit of a rest. And Cuppa's, yeah, Cuppa's doing the fences. That's fine. That's fine. The fences are important as well. They add a nice sort of good rustic aesthetic to the whole place. Ah, okay, this is interesting. So yes, a few people in the comments on the previous video suggested that we should dig ourselves a sort of underground food larder type place. So we dig ourselves a nice big bit under the ground and then we put all of our prepared food in there. We store it all away and because it's under the ground, it's a little bit cooler. It's away from the sun, it's under the ground. The temperature is lower in our sort of larder and therefore the food lasts longer. It is less likely to spoil because the temperatures are not quite as hot. And it says on this thing up here, when you put your mouse over the kind of the time and date, and such like. It gives you some time and date details. So it says the year is split into four seasons that last 12 days each. So each season in this game lasts 12 days. And it says there in the summer, high temperatures, because, you know, that's kind of how summer works. Although we are, we are in Britain. We're in medieval England. So, you know, rain, probably lots of rain in summertime. Chance of heat waves. Build underground storage to keep your food fresh during the hot summer days. So maybe we need to factor that in. We need to factor that into our new kind of food storage place over here with attached dining eating area. Maybe that's what we need to do. The only thing is, yeah, we need a kind of food prep area as well. We kind of want to prepare the food and then go and store the food somewhere and then have easy access to eat the food in the dining area. So we need to try and figure out how we do some digging. We need to figure out how we dig under the ground. I imagine, I imagine, we sort of looked at that over there, didn't we? We just do some mining. I think what we'll do is, what if we say, I'd like to mine just here. What if we mine just there? We get some clay from digging up the dirt, which is fine. Uh, that gets us limestone. What if we dig over here? What if our sort of our food storage thing is over here and we have a sort of a food prep area over here? That would be quite good. In fact, can we have the whole eating, th not eating, the eating could go overground, but the whole food storage and food prep underground? That would make sense, wouldn't it? That would be quite good. Now, how we go up and down levels, I'm not entirely sure. Hang on, view one layer down, X. Okay, can we can we do that? Can we view one level down? Oh no, hang on, it's not letting us. Use control and mouse wheel. Okay, it's not letting us, oh hang on. It's not letting us move through the layers quite as I thought it might do. Okay, <laughs> that's fine, that's fine. What we'll do is, let's dig out a bit just, if we want the eating thing just here, if we want the kind of the mess hall just here, the nice dining room with lots of tables and lots of lovely places to sit. And then, yeah, we want to get ourselves maybe uh, dig this bit out like that. We'll see what that does. Hang on. So now can I go, can I go downwards? Can I go upwards? That seems to imply that we should be moving through different layers, but we're not. I don't quite know why. Okay, fine. I, I don't quite understand how that bit works. We'll We'll work that out at some point. But yeah, if we dig this out, Let's see what happens there. Let's see what happens over there. We'll give that a little go, shall we? How many chronicles do we have? 34. Okay. Oh, now Baldred's on it. Oh, Baldred's, uh, he is, how, how good is he at intellectual stuff? Um, nine. Okay. That's okay. That's not too bad at all. You might well be the smartest person we have, Baldred. Um, your mood is joyful. Oh, that is wonderful. That is very good. Um, if the mood reaches zero, the settler will leave. Okay, but you're joyful at the moment. Oh, that that's wonderful. That is very nice to see, Bodger. I'm glad you're very happy. Oh, there's a rabbit. There's a rabbit. Hang on, hang on. We could always do a spot of hunting. Let's go there. Let's see if we can hunt ourselves that rabbit. I think there is a, yeah, there's like a ramp sort of incline type thing there. So we can get up there. That's fine. Okay, this is good. This is all very exciting indeed. Baldred is doing, oh, Baldred's doing the hunting. He's kind of multitasking. He's doing a spot of thinking about, you know, uh, research and writing books and a spot of shooting at animals with a bow. I mean, that's that's very good. And RJ's in as well. RJ's in as well. I suspect as the rabbit got away. Oh, no, I think I think we got it. I think we have it. Yes, there we go. Rabbit or a hare or whatever it is. A nice thing. Right, hang on. And can we harvest? Harvest those things there. Okay. And harvest that grass there and harvest all that stuff over there. There we go. So lots of resource gathering going on, which is wonderful. Are we digging a hole? Yes. Baldred is digging a hole. Okay, this is good. 
because now we can see how this works on multiple levels. Mind resources mangled. Okay. Does that mean that it didn't work? Did you fail to get the resources out of this particular bit? Don't fall in, Baldred. <laughs> Don't dig the bit that you're on. I hope you're not digging this bit because you'll fall down and you'll get stuck. Um, mind resources mangled. Yeah, Baldred, don't fall in. Don't fall in. Please tell me you're going to hop over there as soon as this bit's gone. Otherwise, we might be in a spot of bother. Yeah, there we go. Wonderful. Settlers are idle. Um, oh, Baldred's not got anything to do. Is somebody else doing the research stuff? Yeah, Bernard's gone back. Bernard with his intellectual of seven. That's a bit of a shame. That's a bit of a shame because I think Baldred quite enjoyed doing that. Give him a good sense of purpose. How are the fields looking? They're looking very good. Baldred, what's your botany? Seven. Um, hang on, let's have a little look. Cuppers is, Cuppers is eight. Yeah, RJ, who's out in the field, she's being very busy. She's got 12. And Bernard does have 10. Bernard has got 10 in terms of botany. I mean, it might make sense. Hang on. Jobs. Bernard. Um, growing plants. Two. Can you go and help sort out some of the plants? Because at the moment, it's poor RJ, all on her own, out here toiling away in the fields. Right, you do some gathering. So now, how does this work? So I still don't know how we move between the different... Oh, oh. Hang on a second. I suspect we might have moved to a different level. Or suddenly we're in Tron. I don't know. One of the others happened. I'm not entirely sure. Ah. There we go. So that is the bit that we've dug out. So we can now get down to here. So can we... How do we build ourselves like an underground kind of base type thing? How does this work? Can we find anything out about the temperature and such like down here? I'm not entirely sure. Um, yeah, because if we're going to do this, we want this to be all inside and we want to have walls and proper, you know, to be proper around here. So we're going to need to have some stairs in at some point, aren't we? So we're going to need stairs... I mean, that could... Hang on. Hang on. We can get stairs. We could get some stairs coming down here. The thing is, if we dig out, say, hang on. If we mine that, and that will... Hang on. No, that's mining down even more. That is mining... No, no, no. No, cancel. Belay, belay those orders. Un, unmine. Don't mine those anymore. Um, hang on. It says at the bottom. Um, Right-click to dismiss. Okay. Dismiss that, and... What? No, no. No, no. You, you fail to understand. I don't want them to mine this anymore. Actions. Prioritize mining. Digging. Of no, it says there. Hang on. Right click to dismiss. Um, unless it just means get rid of that. Oh, no. Don't do this. Ah, there you go. Right. Cancel that. Don't do that, please. Uh, go back up. No, that's down. Go back up. There we go. Right. So, yes. We're going to take out this bit here. So, we need to dig down again, I believe. I think we need to dig down another level. Is that right? Oh, the the 3D-ness of this is is melting my brain. Um, Yes, I think we'll need to dig ourselves... We want some walls down there, don't we? So we want walls and then some stairs. So the stairs are... How wide are the stairs? How wide are the stairs? They are a single thing wide. So if we dig that, that and that out and say, okay, there we go. That means we can get down there and then... We'll put some stairs in and we'll see what happens. We'll just see how that works. I'm not entirely sure how that works. But Baldred is keen to do some mining. He loves the spot of the mining, just Baldred. So you can come and hack at that thing. And then we'll see how this works. We'll just give this a go. And it might go horribly wrong. But you know what? We'll give it a try. It's fine. We'll, we'll just see how it works and see how we get on. Okay, so Baldred has dug that out. He's dug out those extra three sort of blocks that we asked him to. I think everyone's gone to bed because, yes, it's 11 o'clock at night. So we said, go to bed, everybody. And everybody is safely protected from the rain because, look, we've got ourselves... Oh, hang on. Are we still looking under the ground slightly? Hang on. Oh, that didn't help. Autosave. There we go. Hang on. Can we get the roofs on, please? There we go. Look, everybody's under a roof. I mean, okay, Baldred might have a little bit of rain coming in ever so slightly from that side, but mostly everybody is nice and dry in their little houses. It's all very wonderful. So there we go. That's good. But yes, he managed to get that done before he went to bed. However, what I think we should do is I think we should dig out another another three bits just here. So I think the plan is we'll put wooden walls across here. So when you go down the stairs... You're not looking at dirt. You can look at a nice wooden wall because you're going under the ground and it's part of a nice building. So we'll kind of want that in place. But I think if we just have one stairway, 
if we have one stair, as it calls it there, um, then that's going to be a bit of a problem. If people are using this as a very important kind of uh, through route to go and get food, we might want to have a couple of stairs next to each other so more than one person can use them at a time. Otherwise, we're going to get stair congestion and it's going to be a little bit irritating. So how about we mine out those bits there as well and then let's see how this works. Let's just see how this works. So if we put in, say, if I take that round, so pop a stair just there, as it calls it, and then we'll see how this works. So we'll pop that there. I mean, is that going... That looks fine to me. It looks fine. Well, we are going to get a little bit stuck at the bottom there. That might be a problem. But I think this this is interesting. This is interesting. But we'll go with that, I think. How are the plants looking? I think all of the edible plants are in. I think RJ... I didn't see anybody else working on it. RJ has got all of these in. Well done, RJ. That's very impressive. That's very good stuff. So yeah, we've got lots of lovely things. Maximum yield in eight days and ten hours. Loads of beets. Uh, three days, nine hours for all those cabbages. That's going to be nice. Seven days, nine hours. What's that? Uh, sticks. Oh, we get some sticks that, do we, as well? That's nice. And we get some herbs in about six days, nine hours. And then over here, looks like... Some tall grass did go in. It's currently in the young growth phase, but it is going to grow in three days and 14 hours. Okay. Okay, this feels good. I like this. I like that we have a little farm set up going on. Have we got enough wood? 466. I'm just curious as to why they've not finished doing the corner of this field. If you could finish that off, that would be good. Oh, there we go. Everybody's in. And Bernard and RJ are busily over here working away on the field, getting some lovely flax planted. That's going to be useful for sort of building materials and such. And Baldred is doing the mining, whilst Cupper is kind of frantically waving a sort of building mallet or whatever in the air and getting these stairs in. Okay, this is good. So now we have one set of stairs. So we should be able to, I think, hang on, we might need to... We might need to dig out that bit as well, thinking about it, because we haven't got a platform at the bottom. So there we go. So we'll have that, and then we'll have ourselves another set of stairs. What are the other options? Limestone stairs or clay stairs? Okay, right. Wooden stairs seem sensible right now. So put some more of those in. Move time on nice and quick, everybody. How are we doing for research stuff? Oh, look at that. The sun's coming out, and it's raining. There should be a rainbow somewhere. Where's a rainbow? Look at that. They're working very hard over here. I suspect maybe these fields are possibly a bit big. Maybe these fields are quite big. It's taking them many, many hours to sort these fields out. We might have made the fields slightly too grand. It, it's okay. It's all good. They'll, they'll get there. And right, we've lost those resources. Cupper's construction skill has gone up to 14. And then, yes, look, Cupper can now get down. Cupper can go down the stairs, which is very exciting. So now, now what I think we need to do, if we can, if we can do this is dig another level down and then have our food storage stuff all the way under the ground, which is very bizarre. This seems very odd. I mean, it makes perfect sense, but it just seems a very odd way of doing things. But okay, um, so let's have that, dig that and that out. Um, hang on. And then can we go down? No, hang on. Go downwards. So skip down like that. There we go. And then can we mine that and that? And then that and that. And then, yeah, and that, and that. Is that what we want to do? I think that might be what we want to do. I might be making a terrible hash of this. I'm not entirely sure. <laughs> we will find out. Time will tell. So, yeah, that's what we're going to dig out. We're going to dig out this bit here. So, here we go. Right, we can see Baldred. Baldred should be, I think, at the bottom of the stairs. Yeah, Baldred is at the bottom of the stairs doing some digging. And that's weird that we can see people running around at the sort of, at the top off of... So sort of, you know, a higher, a higher point of the map or whatever. So you're digging that out. So you're digging these bits out now. And then we need to go down a bit further and then have all of our food stored down here. This is, this is wonderful if it works. I mean, I'm not expecting it to work. I'm expecting it to go all sorts of horribly wrong, but it'll be great if this actually comes together. Okay, right. So they've been able to dig out those bits there, but they haven't been able to get these in. Does that stop us having stairs? Have we done this all entirely wrong? Uh, let's have a look. Stairs. Um, yes, it's blocked by grass. Um, that is that is not ideal, is it? Bother. Okay. I don't quite know how we get across there now then. <laughs> this might this might have all gone horribly wrong. Okay. 
Right, hang on. This is fine. This is all good. It's all good. So now we've got ourselves a kind of a weird drop bit down there. We can't get down there anymore. We can't get down there. And I'm not entirely sure how we can get down there. Um, Do we need to dig that bit out? Would that help? Is that going to be useful? Do you know what? We'll do it anyway. There you go. Dig that bit out. It might work. It might not. Let's give it a go. Another day has rolled by. That day went by very, very rapidly indeed. But it looks like the people who've been working over in the farm have done a very, very good job. The entire field of grass over here is all sorted. So that's all planted. And then over here, I think there are only, it's quite hard to see actually, but I think there's only three spots where there's no flax planted. So they can get to that very, very quickly the next day. And that'll be that done. And then that leaves them a bit of time to go and do some other stuff, some hauling or some research or whatever. Oh, Baldred was sad. Why are you sad, Baldred? You're hungry. Okay, have we got any food to eat? We should have. Roasted meat, roasted... I mean, it's roasted meat, let's be honest. It's all roasted meat, but that's that's okay. We have said... What's happened to the... Tri oh, hang on. Nope, I'm looking at the wrong level, aren't I? Hang on, let's go look at a high up level. There we go. <laughs> if we look at the top, if we look at 16, that's the highest we can view things from. There we go, that's better. Um, yeah, we've got all these things. We said go and gather stuff from the bushes. But because we've given them so many other tasks, they haven't gone to do this yet. So this is good. This is extra food coming in. That's all very handy indeed. And yes, thank you to lots of people in the comments who pointed out that we should be harvesting certain plants and not cutting them. Because if we harvest things, then that means yeah, they're going to grow back again like a berry bush. If we cut it, we do get berries, but we chop down the entire berry bush. And then there's no berries going to grow back there because, you know, we've pulled it out of the ground. So, uh, yeah, we'll grab berries from there. So, yes, using harvest. Thank you, commenting people. There is some uh, some stuff there as well. It looks like... Have we got anywhere where there's some... Um, where there's any sort of mushrooms or anything? Is there anything nearby that we could go and grab very easily? Have that and I can't see any more food sources. There's some herbs there. We'll grab those possibly. Oh, there's something. There's something. There's some mushrooms. That's quite nice. Okay, right. How are we doing over here? How is this <laughs> this ill-fated expedition going over here? This is, uh, this is not working as I thought it might do. It's all gone a little bit wrong. Okay, so now we've dug there. But yeah, now we've just got stairs going down to, to nowhere. We need more stairs going down another level and I'm not entirely sure how we go about that I don't think we should have dug that bit out I don't think we should have dug that bit I think that was a bad choice can we do something with it can we put say a bit of floor just there no can we put a bit of wall do we need to walk around on top of the walls possibly <laughs> um yeah the only thing is we need to get down don't we we need to get down hang on hang on Hang on a second. We could put a stairway just there. Yes. Okay, this is how we do it. This is how it's going to work. We're going to go there, hop to the side, go down those stairs, finish this mining thing. And then by the time summer arrives, we're going to have an underground storage thing for our food. And it's going to be amazing and wonderful. And RJ just worked their way down this very weirdly elaborate kind of route to the underground bit. So you can get down here. We can get down here. So Baldred is mining and digging. Baldred is on the way. Oh, Baldred. It's all been about you this time round, really, hasn't it? We've been we've been waiting on you to do your thing, Baldred. But here we go. The camera just got a bit bonkers there when you go down a sort of a go down toward a lower level. Right, so Baldred, dig, dig, dig. Do some more digging, please, Baldred. If we get those those four out, that would be that would be wonderful. We'll leave you to it, Baldred. Okay, this is good. Right, he's working his way through the final block that we want to remove. So I think now. We need to travel down under the ground again. So let us have a look at what's going on just here. So hang on. Under the ground we go. Right, there. So Baldred is working on this bit just here. So then what I think we need to do is... I think we need... That's better. Yeah, that's that's far more. That's you know, a good visual sort of aid right there. So let's go to mining. And we'll mine out this bit. How do you want to do this? So we kind of want ourselves a prepared food area and then a food stockpile if you like so unprepared stuff and then prepared stuff and then an area where we're actually going to do the chopping and the cooking and all that kind of stuff and the buttering and such like so how about we have ourselves a kind of a room off this side where we can do some stuff and then a storeroom here and then yeah the stairs can go up to where we're going to eat i think that sounds like 
a sort of okay plan, maybe. Uh, okay, right, do you know what? We'll have ourselves a little sort of corridor type thing, because I love a corridor. We'll have a bit going off like that, and then we'll have a kind of bit there, like so. So that, that can be where we could start. Let's add another bit. This is quite a big, this is a big project. It's fine, I like this. And then another similar bit over this side. So that could be, oh, now they're all, now they're uneven. Nope, that can't, that can't do. So yes, yeah, so we have ourselves a bit over there where we put raw food, and then a bit over here where we put the cooked food, and then somewhere over here maybe where we prepare the food. I mean, what do we need to prepare the food? The campfire we need, and then I imagine there's going to be slightly more elaborate things to actually prepare food. So we're going to cook underground, which does seem a little bit bizarre, but okay. I mean, let's just do that, shall we? Let's zone out that entire underground kind of thing and just see how that goes. Let's do that, shall we? Yeah, okay, right, we'll zone that out. We'll see if that works. I imagine there might be an element of that plan that's a load of old nonsense, but yeah, we will see. Time will tell again. Apparently, some research is available. Is it available? Yes, it is. We've made enough book thingamajiggers to unlock the secrets of brewing, which does sound quite good. Brewing does actually sound like quite a good thing to have. So it makes a brewing station, some ale, some beer, or rough wine. Nice. Rough, sour wine. If there's nothing else to drink, it will suffice. It sounds terrible. Or furniture. And I imagine furniture has to be put together by somebody with the decent carpentry skill. And Baldred does have that. But with that, we can make a wooden hay bed. We can make a proper bed. We can make a proper bed. Oh, that's good. So we can make a decent bed and a wooden chair or a stone chair. Okay, I'm tempted by the, the idea of the bed is very good. I think that would be very useful indeed, because surely people are going to sleep better on a proper bed rather than just on the floor. So sacks stuffed with hay on a wooden frame. A basic but fairly comfortable bed. I mean, fairly comfortable. It's better than, you know, a pile of sticks and straw on the floor. So yeah, let's go for that. I mean, I'm thinking furniture is the better option right now than brewing. I think that's, you know, brewing is nice, but it's not essential. Whereas furniture gives us that bed and that bed is very good. However, preserving food would also be quite useful. The only thing is we are digging out our massive sort of underground food storage thing. So that could be useful. I'm a little bit worried by the fact that it says settlers are starving. Let's unlock the secrets of furniture, shall we? Just for the beds, I think. So yeah, okay, we now know about furniture. Who is starving? Hang on, why are you all starving? This is terrible. This is a terrible thing. RJ, go and get some food, please. Eat some food. There's bits of it over here. There's meat. There's some more meat. There's some meat. I mean, yo, it's mostly meat. It's a mostly meat-based diet. There is some stew. I think that's like mushroom stew and stuff. So, you know, there is something. I don't think we're starving anymore. So Bernard, not hungry. RJ, not hungry, <laughs> which is always a bit worrying. Have we still got the right amount of people? Have they got all their limbs? Yes. Um, Cuppa is not hungry. And Baldred is no longer hungry. Okay, wonderful stuff. Okay, that's good. And now, do we want to get beds in? Do we want to go forth and get proper beds? How is that gonna, how's that gonna work? A wooden hay bed. Uh, so yeah, 40 wood and 20 hay. We've got 375 hay and 325 wood. So we should be able to get four of these beds in. So I think what we'll do is we'll just tuck them into the corners. Let's just put them into the corners of each room. That's nice. So one there, one there. Rotate it round, please. One just there and one just there. There we go. So somebody can work on those. And then when they're in, we will dismantle the other beds. We don't want to take them apart right now while the other beds are not in, because that would be silly. Bernard doing a spot of cooking. Well done, Bernard. And then back over here, hitting the books. It's all looking very good, isn't it? It's all looking very good. Baldred digging away under the ground. We've created a shared bedroom. Have we? Oh, yes, of course. Yes, because there are now two sleeping spots in here. No, no, we'll sort that out. Hang on. Um, Away. Away with that, please. And Baldred is still mining away. This is great stuff. Um, is anybody finishing that bed? Yeah, so there we go. So that bed is done. So we'll deconstruct that. I think, I think we're safe enough to just deconstruct these. I think they're going to get them done in time. It's what, midday. So it's looking fine. Not enough beds. I know game. We're on it. We're absolutely all over it. Do not worry about it at all. So yeah, they're doing all that. Right. How are you doing over here, Baldred? <laughs> Under the ground on your own. I do apologize. So let's have a little look. How are you doing? 
you're doing, you're doing okay. Digging out the food dungeon. Okay, now that's good. That's good. So you've got yourself the middle bit sorted. And now it's just digging out these bits here. I mean, just to get this done, maybe, maybe we should make this the tiniest bit smaller for now. I mean, can we multi-select? Yeah. If we say, don't do those right now, Baldred. We'll expand into those. It's fine. Don't do those right now either. And maybe cut off those bottom ones there as well. Just to make it... You know, given the chance that he might actually finish this ridiculously elaborate project at some point ever in his life. And we have beds. Look at that. We've got proper beds. I mean, okay, proper beds is pushing it a little bit, but it's more bed-like than the straw that was on the floor. So that is good. That's very nice. Look at that. Nice beds. That means people are going to sleep better or, I don't know, do they sleep better to improve their mood or does it mean they sleep less? I'm not entirely sure. Baldred's mining skill is going through the roof because he's constantly mining a load of stuff, which is excellent for us. So uh, yeah, now we're just waiting on this, but I think this is the last day of spring, isn't it? So now summer is on its way. So yeah, Baldred, no pressure, but you do need to get all that stuff sorted. You do need to get all that done. Who else is good at, um, who else is good at mining? Can we see anybody's mining skill? So you've got, Bernard's got five. RJ has zero. RJ doesn't know what a mine is. He thinks it's like all about possession and owning things. Um, you've got eight. Oh, Cooper's got mining of eight. Hang on. You can go mining as well, Cooper. If you're not constructing things, go mining. Why have we not? Why have we not done that? Why did we not do that before? That seems a little bit silly, doesn't it? Okay, yes, there we go. You go and help dig the mine out if you're not doing anything else. Of course, right now, everyone's enjoying a spot of leisure time and then they're going to go to bed. Apart from Cooper who's decided to do a bit of late night work. Even though I think on the schedule, nine o'clock is, nine o'clock is leisure time, but you've decided to come here and just dig a big hole. Okay, fine. If that's what you want to do, you crack on, folks. Oh no, all of our roasted meat is going mouldy and horrible. Okay, how long does that have? That roasted meat there has got a little bit of time left. It's 53% it's fresh. There's not too much mould on it. You can scrape off the mould and just eat the bits underneath. It's fine. A new season. Summer. Oh, that looks nice. There we go. Summer appeared like a warm blessing, coaxing the settlers to shed their warm clothing. Now was the time to build underground storage. We're on it already, game, to keep food fresh in the sunny days to come. Okay, so yep, high temperatures, chance of heat waves, and build stuff underground. Okay, right. We're on that. We're trying our best. Now, is everybody going to run back under the ground and start doing their digging stuff again? I think so. So yeah, what have we got under here then? Yeah, they've got a few of these bits dug out. Now, this isn't too bad. This is okay, because what we could do is we could start zoning out a few bits down here. We could say, hang on, put time onto normal speed. Over here, default stockpile. So yes, right, pause time actually, because I'll start moving stuff about. So default stockpile there and a default stockpile there. This one here can be for... um. I don't know, that can be for, right, clear everything. That can be for food, but meals, only meals. That can be for prepared things and stimulants. Okay, yeah, so you know, beer and such like. That can stay above the ground, surely. Surely beer can stay above the ground. But yeah, meals, so anything packaged, roasted meat, lavish meals, stew, all that kind of good stuff can go over there. And then just here, clear everything, that can be raw food. So the raw food can go over there. So red currants, cabbages, barley, beet, carrots, raw meat, raw meat, human, okay, and mushrooms can go over this side. Okay, right, that's better. That is significantly better. So it's not much right now, but as they dig, we can expand those. We can expand those things, then just, you know, make make a little bit of, bit of a dent into this underground storage thing. But yet already there's another couple of storage bits just there. There's some over there as well. Okay, I think... If we expand these out just the tiniest bit more, yes, yeah, so expand that zone to there and into there, and then go to this zone and expand that zone to there and there, I think we can go... I'm still not used to the whole the whole sort of multi-level approach thing. Um, I think what we can do is we can get rid of this. I think we get rid of that entirely. Deconstruct that and deconstruct that. Get rid of those, please. Make them go away, and hopefully somebody will move this stuff under the ground. So yeah, that stew pile is decaying because of temperature. So let's have a little look. Somebody's moving something. Okay, RJ's moved some stuff. 
So let's go back under the ground. Bernard's got a bit brainier. That's good. Well done. So now there's something just there. Um, it's decaying because of ground type, but not because of the temperature. So when we get the floor sorted in here, it's going to be wonderful. Okay. And then we need to sort the stairs out and all that kind of stuff. But yeah, it works at the minute. It, it works. It's not brilliant, but it works. It does the job. It is sufficient right now. So quite happy with that. Okay. This is good. This has gone very well indeed. Right. I think what we'll do is we've got to summer. We've kind of proven that we can dig an underground kind of you know, food storage preparation type thing area, which is going to be very handy indeed. So I think what we'll do is, oh, look at the, hang on, I'm interrupting myself. Look at the fields. Look at the lovely fields. There's all lots of lovely carrots. Two days until carrots. Five days until beets. Seven hours until cabbages, everybody. Seven hours until cabbage. Oh, that's wonderful. That is very exciting. Hang on. They're ready. No hours until cabbage. Oh my goodness me. Okay, this is good. And that is eight hours until the grass and five days for the flax. So yeah, the farm is looking wonderful as well. So what we'll do is we will finish up for now. We'll finish up for the moment. And then yes, we'll come back next time. Finish our sort of underground food storage thing, which I think possibly took a lot longer and I made way more difficult than it needed to be. But it's fine. It's in, we did it the geek cupboard way, we bumbled through and crossed our fingers and everything seemed to sort of work right. So we got that in in the end, which is very good indeed. So yes, we can now store our food, keep it all lovely and fresh and such like. And then yeah, we have all this stuff coming through, which I imagine we will harvest next time out, which is very good. And of course, we'll keep doing the research stuff, we'll keep that going, we'll see what's coming next. We do need some defences. Defences would be useful. Maybe some walls possibly might be quite handy just to keep us a little bit safe. And um, yeah, plenty of other stuff to do as well. Who knows what random events the game will throw at us. But uh, yeah, right now we'll finish up, see what happens next time out. Hopefully you are still enjoying this. If you are, then please do leave a like. That would be very, very lovely indeed. And also, if you're not already, then please do subscribe to keep up to date with how we get on here next time out in Going Medieval. But for now, thank you very much for joining me in the Geek Cupboard and I will see you next time. Charlotte was murdered by Martin. Do we need to arrest Martin? Aaron was murdered by Martin. The mighty defense rectangle has been completed. We've crashed into a ship over there. Hello, pirates. They're just firing bits of explosive junk. It's killing quite a lot of pirates. Connor was strangled by Martin. Somebody stop him. I'd love to stop him. <laughs>